Hello, hello, hello. My name is Luis from TNH Group and welcome to my business log where I tell you all about my business and how it's going. I spend a lot of my days when I actually go to uni traveling in my car. There are some exciting news. Since I last spoke to you, the orders or the like contracts through Kleinanzeigen, which is the as you may know, the kind of German equivalent of Craigslist where you can like, post things that you want to sell, sell knickknacks and, and all of that. I have a service, I have some service ads on there um, for CAD and selling, yeah, just for CAD, finding solutions, printing things for people. And uh, it has the, all of these contracts have been uh, keeping my cash flow steady. Um, I have raised my prices from my normal work being uh, 35 euros an hour and CAD being 50 euros an hour, which is still fairly affordable in uh, comparison to other things. I have added a new base supplier. I know the owner, we uh, call from time to time uh, about business stuff and he's a very cool guy, he has lots of bases available in the smaller sizes up to 60 millimeters which is 90% of the bases that I sell so uh, all of these will be produced in Europe and I think even in Germany but I'm not sure I will have a more local set of bases the bigger sizes I will still have to order from China because uh, getting molds made for that is a little pricey <laughs> to say the least and Uh, printing them is also not an option, which I have found out through experience. I'm trying out a new filament supplier. They have more colors of PTG and more filament uh, or more PLA colors. They have wood PLA, they have sparkling PLA, silk PLA. So they have a lot of pretty filaments and also co-extrusion ones. I will be trying them out over a span of years or months if, if the filament is good and then give a small review even though they are Europe only I think but if a lot of people are interested in getting those filaments over the pond as well I might be able to get them over there but you guys have a lot of good filament like printed solid and all of the other things that are just escaping me Polymaker, no Polymaker is Chinese based but there are a lot of pretty filaments suppliers in North America uh, so it's fairly easy to get pretty filament in North America. If the supplier is good, I will have two good filament suppliers here in Germany with uh, fast shipping and all of that. Fun fact, all of my packages that get sent within Germany, 80% of that arrive on the next day. That's almost, that's faster shipping than Amazon Prime, mostly. And the last 20 of percent get delivered after two days and international packages vary of course I'm still trying to get the company into adding like a protection film for the PFA sheets <laughs> I have to talk to the CEO like the, to the owner of the company again because he does all the technological support like when I first brought it up he was like yeah that's not happening the endostick properties are so great that the, that the sticky protector wouldn't hold. Other people on the market have protectors on their, uh, on their foils, so I think we can make it happen. If she's are still slow, I expected them to take off a little more, but we are only at month six of uh, 2023, which is supposed to, like in my head, was the kind of launching and getting the PFA sheets into the market. They will have an increase in November and December. In November because of Black Friday and in December because of Christmas. I hope at least. And I will inevitably make grand sized PFA sheets because it is needed and people, people are best. Summer officially hit. It's very warm. You probably see the sweat on me. Funnily enough, I'm wearing a test piece for merchandise for my other channel. Merch designs can happen on on this tank top for the channel as well. 
but the other one has kind of priority. It's 100% organic cotton. It got all the labels, okay. The V Minion is printing reliable, finally. It printed this, um, I will show you a close-up shot in a second or while I'm talking. Printed this tree beard, it looks kind of rough because it is printed rough. 0.28 millimeter layer height, so it's not that, the resolution is not that great in comparison to uh, Leonidas, this uh, beautiful guy right here. I printed him in 0.08 mm layer height and he looks great. Uh, footage will be provided. And because it's very warm in my living room, temperature is much better and the audio is also better. Not much has happened down here, except a little clean up happened where the camera now stands. Genius was on there. I put that project to the side even though I'm almost done, but I have to redesign the whole thing so it's better off like in the corner because I'm, I want <laughs> slash need to get my, I, I don't need, but I want to get my Voron 0.1 running again um, and maybe upgrade it to the 0.2 revision 1 <laughs> that came, uh, that just came out like a couple of days ago. So that's the state of that. The rhetoric is printing fine. The video on that will hopefully be released in a couple of days when you see this vlog because I've built it mostly there is a part of the live stream missing and the live stream in itself is not that good because my live stream setup is not good but I have parts of the build can be watched <laughs> and, and then you can see me talk to myself I don't know why you would watch it but it has some views the FDM printers will most likely only be DIY machines from now on uh, for my for the machines that I get for personal use. I am looking into getting uh, sponsors, uh, but good sponsors for the printers I would actually use to sponsor some printers so I can review them. I really like the first impressions, then one week, one month, and then half a year, or, or three months, and then half a year videos, because that's the, that's very critical information if you ask me, but that's not content that can be produced that fast. I want to make to create pr more professional content, so I'm trying to get things in line. I, to make good content, sometimes you have to pick the low hanging fruit so you can eat and then reach for the higher hanging fruit. Here's my V Minion. It sits on a shelf in the basement because this is a good space. The cable management is not really done and I need to take a look at the connector, but mostly this works well. The uh, Leonidas bust was printed in 24 hours, so it can print. Uh, for long amounts of time. I just need to take a look at the connector for the hot end because that is actually what failed because I apparently didn't crimp the connector that well and then yeah you know if the fan doesn't have current running through it it won't function. I have this uh, recycled PLA spool on here where I'm doing some uh, test prints. Mm. Did the input shaper that is very easy on the red rigs because the, there are buttons for it. You just attach the ADXL onto the right pins <laughs> and then you let it work and there you have it. For more details please consult the wiki. Um, I will mention it in the video. Thursday evening, the last two weeks have been very eventful. Um, did some bartending, had an offer to replicate something. Let me get it. I needed to make this. This came through through Kleinanzeigen. It is this little roller part that it is for a sleeping couch, like a couch where you can have a mechanism to extend the couch area. This one, the other one broke, 10 minutes max of cat time. My minimum price is about 20 euros, so I was like, mm, it's gonna be a little pricey, sorry, but if you want more, I have them. I built for one, I sent him four. It's kind of a happy customer, because that's what I like to do. I like to make my customers happy as much. As I can. I have some orders for friends uh, that need some reprinting. I forgot like one half of the order because there was a lot of things happening and I forgot I'm reprinting it at the moment. I will send it off after the weekend. I'm in the process of finishing up the script and preparations for the Soraya Craft Glow video. Uh, so that's almost done. The V Minion video is almost done. I just need to film it and then edit it and then have it sent off. Yeah, I'm also making an apple syrup right now. Yeah, the pew pew thing is into the second round of prototyping. I think I will have to build him some more. 
because uh, you know I started but kind of a lot like I went there and talked to him for a bit <laughs> I networked a bit when uh, when a friend invited me over for some drinks and his mom is an artist and I gi gave her my card. <laughs> yeah, so maybe I will do some more artsy stuff in the future. What I also plan to get is a laser at at one point. I don't know if I if I really want a diode one, but I think it could get me started better than big mid range uh, CO two laser because that's what I eventually want, and maybe a fiber laser as well. But these two products together cost, if I want to be fairly cheap, 20,000 euros. Uh, that's for the Lewis that kind of took over the security business and got three new customers that pay heaps of money. I have some more thoughts about the tabletop things because my repertoire of things that I sell from MZ is not, like I don't have all the things listed that I can sell, so I want to expand on that. I need to figure out if my website can actually configure the hero me the eva toolet is easier i just need to get back to pavlov is his name i think i hope i guess to give him the pricing and then i have that as well i'm get i'm going to form next obviously um to do some content there this will be this will be my first like um messe content Starting to do some more uh, social media with Twitter and Instagram, trying to post more or less daily uh, with some stories and posts to get a bigger following uh, because that's what I do. In the business I'm, <laughs> I'm working from waking up till the sun goes down and then some more hours because I n want to make this happen. So maybe if I get enough cash flow I can hire a friend to edit some videos, even if it's like 20 bucks for a video. I mean, that's that's something <laughs> of value that I can't provide currently because I don't earn money. And But if I, I think I should activate my Patreon and then push it a bit so I can have that, which takes a lot of work off of me, which I, I do not excel at. <laughs> I will soon have a new logo and new banners and new stuff. I'm working, uh, with an artist for that and yeah it's just going pretty great but i need to scale the business further and find some better opportunities and connections and yeah just be more present and do more of the 3d printing and the consulting and the cad and not so much of the even though i like it <laughs> my hourly rate is double my uh my bartending rate so try to find more of that work um, but I also need to improve my CAD skills. That's it for t for this vlog. My name is Luis. This was my the business vlog of TNH Group, my company that I pooped out of my head. I hope you print something and that you have no print failures. I will see you in the next video. Tschüss and auf